spirits. They are becoming more and more popular as people try to light up less. But starting soon, e-cigarettes will be treated just like regular cigarettes at the Indianapolis airport and not allowed anywhere on airport grounds. RTV6 reporter Tanya Spencer has reaction. The airport board voted unanimously this morning, nine to nothing, to expand the smoking ban here to include e-cigarettes. Do you just press a button? At Don's Vapor, owner Don Fall says e-cigarettes are becoming more and more popular. People enjoy vaping because, um, you know, as opposed to smoking cigarettes, it, it, there's no foul odor, mm -hmm. so it doesn't smell terrible. You can literally vape in a room and no one will ever know you did. He says the liquid used in vaping contains only four ingredients, including nicotine and flavoring, and disagrees with the airport's new ban. I think it's ridiculous because, you know, vaping and smoking is two completely different things. So, you know, it's, it's just definitely ridiculous. And they have not, you know, come up and tell us that vaping is not safe. But the airport authority says there is enough proof of possible health risks. There's some um, lab, lab reports and studies indicating that, um, that e-cigarettes emit um, various toxins and particulates that can actually irritate people nearby that have asthma. The amended smoking ordinance adopted today adds e-cigarettes to the definition of smoking, expands the number of personnel that can enforce the ordinance, and adopts a $75 fine for violations. Some travelers are happy with the change. I just feel that they do have that smell. Um, like I said, her her dad has one, and it smells. I mean, they have flavors for them, and that helps, but it's still a smell. So if it's something they find it's harmful later, then that's something I don't want to be smelling. Others say the ban goes too far. So I definitely believe they should be allowed. I mean, it's not smoke. It's not hurting anybody. It's not, you know, there's no smoke to get in anybody's lungs. And, you know, as long as you're respectful and do it, I don't think it's hurting anybody. I think they're taking away people's personal rights. Airport officials will be working to update these signs over the next week and a half or so. The changes go into effect April 1st. Reporting at the airport, Tanya Spencer, RTV6. And the only place you can smoke on airport property is in a privately owned vehicle. Chewing tobacco and snuff are not included in the ban. They are still allowed in any area of the airport.